Hey guys, we got a new contender called QVQ 32B, which is uh, 32 billion params, which is less than uh, comparable AIs have. So, for example, we have DeepSeek R1, which has uh, 671 billion params. Yep. And apparently it's competing with DeepSeek and completely slapping O1. And it's basically a reinforcement learning model. And basically short of it is that they teach it math and code initially, make sure it gets things right, those things are rewarded, then it becomes more general. It is free to use. You can just uh, go hit up their chat and make sure you select the correct model, QVQ32B. And it can search and think, which apparently is not a guaranteed feature for many other contenders. And also, tool-wise, it's pretty dang rich. Although this model seemingly is not supporting all the features yet. But of course, perhaps the greatest news and uh, the biggest perk is that this model is open source. So you can just uh, try this yourself. And there's a big difference because 32 billion perms. So perhaps running this wouldn't be that uh, far-fetched, right? Because for most models, well, I guess the early models, or even for most models, you might at best need to rent out some some beefy GPUs, or at least one beefy GPU. But we shall see about this. And we can see that it has a Apache 2.0 uh, license, which pretty much just means you can do whatever you want with it. But let even suppose that you don't care about open source. The fact that they make it open source means that they would have to offer it at a price that is less, preferably, than the regular person can run it themselves. At least it doesn't make it profitable for uh, another party to really steal their thunder. And we predictably see that on Hugging Face, it is trending hard, even compared to DeepSeek. And by the way, a week ago, they also released Van AI, which is a, apparently a state-of-the-art uh, text-to-video AI. But the relevance here for us, that they are committed to open source and they make some uh, pretty cool things. And let me assure you, this was not a pointless tangent because I've seen many other models that released open source, then after they saw that they were getting attention, they thought like, hmm, maybe we're going to go submarine mode and then, uh, re well, I guess uh, profit off our proprietary model later. I'm not blaming them for it. Just pointing out that their open source was more of a marketing ploy than anything else. And price-wise, they are 55, 055 in and 075 out. Which is uh, certainly competitive with DeepSeek, unless you are using DeepSeek during the discounted time period, which is this. The reasonable model would be 2.2 out. And this price still would be among the very best. And by the way, if you realize, they're pretty similar to DeepSeek. This was just a suggested uh, question, top rated movies this year. And we can see that it uh, taught for a long time. And after that, it just gave me a few answers. It's even suggesting follow-up questions. And we can see the source on the side. It certainly gives a faster answer than DeepSeek. Apparently it's at 66 tokens per second instead of uh, 23. Albeit currently, it uh, is only showing uh, 43 for intelligence. So... That might change later, but it is kind of good to see that it's reasonably fast and it might not uh, refuse request, at least uh, for now, uh, like DeepSeek. That's really not a fault of DeepSeek, just a lot of people are lo uh, looking to use DeepSeek. So I can understand that, but it was a little bit annoying lately. And very much on brand for this video, I asked uh, QVQ32B what kind of GPU it needs, and apparently, a uh, 22 gigabyte of a GPU VRAM should suffice. So that means a high-end consumer-grade GPU pretty much just gives you top-of-the-shelf 
AI. But even if you don't have that, this will make it easier to and cheaper to put AI in uh, everything and uh, anything. So that's it. Pretty cool and open source.